The story of Sir Guy of Warwick. Ah, good day to you. And who do we have here? Uh, this, I believe, my lady, is Guy of Warwick, yeah. uh, a youth of considerable talent who wishes to become a knight. A knight? Well, Guy, I am Lady Felicity and I may be able to help you. To be a knight, you must be brave, commanding, kind and wise, and you must never turn down a challenge. Oh, uh, Perhaps, my lady, this would be a good opportunity for Guy to prove themselves. I, I mean, with our current difficulty? Ah, yes. Guy, the people of Coventry have been troubled with the arrival of a dun cow, a huge beast who has been knocking down fences and devouring vegetable gardens. It is so big and strong, it cannot be stopped. Are you brave enough to accept the challenge to take on this menace? I am sure that if you are successful, the, the Lady Felicity will present you with your golden spurs, the, the first step on the road to your knighthood. I will, gladly. Guy of Warwick, do you accept this challenge? Ah, good. Then off you go, and may good luck go with you. Ah, congratulations, Guy. You have been successful with your first challenge. How very clever of you to lure the dun cow into a trap by laying out a trail of cabbage leaves. Now, why don't you go and fetch the spurs? At once, my lady. You have made an excellent start, Guy, and I'm really pleased you found a way of dealing with the dun cow without causing it any harm. You have shown great kindness. My lady! My lady! Terrible news. I mean, this is... Oh! Guy, it seems that a giant has arrived in Coventry and is marching through the streets of the town, knocking down everyone it meets and causing trouble. He has a foul temper and a strong arm. Do you think you could use your skills to deal with this ogre? If you are successful, then I, I, I'm sure my lady will present you with uh, your knight's sword. Oh, an excellent idea. Guy of Warwick, do you accept the challenge? Good. Well then, um, let us know how you get on. Good luck. Guy approached the giant with no trace of fear and he issued his challenge. What sort of challenge? He challenged the giant to a battle of wits. Ah, and that's when he offered the giant the riddle. Yes, exactly, my lady. And the riddle was, mm -hmm. where in Coventry would one be lucky to find happiness? Oh, I think I know the answer. Is it here with me? Yes, indeed, my lady. My name means good luck. And happiness. Indeed so, my lady. Felicity. <laughs> and did the giant know the answer? Uh, no, my lady, the giant did not. He spent some two hours scratching his head, but he had no answer. In the end, he just gave up and wandered off. Guy of Warwick, you have done it again. You deserve your spurs and a sword. In fact, I am going to knight you myself. Oh. Go and fetch the sword. Very well, my lady. Guy of Warwick, you have shown both bravery and wisdom, and you've accepted all challenges. It will be a great pleasure to- My lady, my lady, my lady! <laughs> Terrible news! Are you sure the watchman of the city saw that? <sighs> I've just been informed that we here in Coventry face a very terrible danger. 
A dragon has been sighted heading this way. A proper fire-breathing, wall-smashing, people-devouring dragon. You have done so well so far, Guy. Would you mind ridding us of this monster before it destroys us? As my lady says, if you are successful, uh, she will knight you herself. Will you accept the challenge? Oh, thank you. Be careful and good luck. Do you think I should hide? Well, I will say The Lady Felicity will be with you in a moment. Oh! Oh, Sir Guy. You have done it again. You have been both brave and commanding. What a brilliant idea to persuade all of us here in Coventry to cover our faces with flour to make us look ill. And then to call up to the dragon to tell him not to land because we'd all been stricken with plague. <laughs> the dragon flew once around the city walls and disappeared off into a cloud. It, it couldn't get away fast enough. Oh. Sir Guy, kneel before me. It gives me great pleasure, on behalf of the people of Coventry, to present you with your spurs and to invest you with your sword. Arise, Sir Guy of Warwick. Your duties as a knight now include uh, behaving with honour, Protecting the weak, and you must always tell the truth. <laughs> Congratulations, Sir Guy of Warwick. And when you have finished, Sir Guy, travelling and finding your fame and fortune, hopefully you'll return here to settle. Oh, uh, and when you do, Sir Guy, uh, you must find yourself a wife. Uh, oh, she must be noble, high-born, uh, beautiful, wise. Uh, she must be a comfort and, and bring you good luck and happiness. Oh, Sir Guy, where would you find such a prize? Who knows, Sir Guy? Perhaps you have met her already? Farewell, Sir Guy. Good luck. And may you face all your challenges with honour. And so Sir Guy went on his travels. He had not even passed the walls of the city when his next adventure began. A wild boar arrived from Swanswell. He was charging about and causing mischief. Sir Guy approached the beast, sword in hand. And as the boar lowered its head to charge, he began to laugh. A wild boar, he cried. I have seen a more frightening boar than this in Swanswell. It's still there. The boar paused, shook himself, and then turned around and went back. Sure enough, there in the well, in the water, was another boar. He grunted with rage and charged down the well to attack his own reflection. <laughs> Sir Guy had triumphed again. He went on many, many more adventures. And when his questing was done, he returned to Coventry to settle down and find a wife. There was a lady, beautiful and wise, that he fell for. And so he married. Me! 